Step four of assembling your channel slider kit is actually attaching the sliding mechanism uh, to your channel. So now you have the gear motor bolted, the belts in, your tensioner is on, the belt's nice and tight. You don't have to, like I said, you don't have to, don't, I wouldn't recommend tighten it down too tight. So, so now it's, we're ready to uh, uh, attach the sliders. So as you can see here, the kit is supplied with two, um, two basically uh, one of our quad mounts, one of our other mounts here. Um, two of them, so you can actually place these anywhere on the two sliding uh, pieces of plastic here. So we're going to go ahead and put this one on the side. Um, like I said, you can attach them any particular location you want to. But the first thing you want to do is build the slide mechanism here. So again, we're going to grab our 632 by quarter inch socket head screws. And make sure your both pieces have the notches lined up. You can easily assemble them the other way, but it will not work correctly. So we'll tighten these down. We'll go ahead and cinch those down. The reason why we supply two different styles is because if you, you know, obviously this has the 1.5 pattern going across as well as the 770 pattern in. And so there's many applications where you might want to bolt a piece of channel directly to this. Um, and uh, you know, not have to worry about other various attachments. And then this piece is really nice because it's it's obviously much light. It's a little bit lighter weight, but has that 77 pattern, 770 pattern in it, and um, lends itself to s several other applications. Um, a little simpler part. Go ahead and put this one on the top here. Tighten this up. And there you go. So there's your part right there. Very, very simple. You can actually even attach this on just to make sure it could snap on. Got nice sliding movement here. Now every once in a while, some of the channel during shipping um, may get slightly flared out, maybe slightly pushed in. So if you run your slider along your channel, um, it may want to bind up in certain locations. All, if when that happens, all you need to do is look very closely at the gap um, where the little channel, or excuse me, the little uh, um, um, slides are and see if you need to actually push in on the channel or pull out on the channel. Once you do that, um, it's set. You don't have to worry about it flexing or doing anything later on down the road. So, but anyway, but yeah, in shipping, sometimes the channel might, might get pushed in, might get pulled out. So if, if you hit any rough spots or any areas where it doesn't want to slide smoothly, uh, that's what you need to do and it's very, very easy. We've built a little bit of a tolerance um, level in the plastic parts, so it doesn't have to be just spot on, um, but your, your slider should move, move relatively easily back and forth. So. But also the motors have plenty of enough power, so even if it does catch a little bit of, a, of, a, of an area like that, it, won't, it really won't matter too much and really it won't even show up on, on your videos. So. But that's, that's, that's highly unlikely. It's very easy to go in there and flex the, flex the channel to be able to make it smooth. So Next what we're going to do, obviously your belt is very tight. What we want to do next is loosen your belt quite a bit so you can actually turn it upside down, do whatever you need to do there. Next we're going to go ahead and pull this back off. Now we're going to take our stainless steel um, belt clamp, put it on just like this. Next we're going to go ahead and run our spacer just like so. Put that on the bottom and we're going to grab one of our 632 screws, put that right in the bottom like so, like that. Don't tighten it all the way down yet. You'll see there there's a little bit of a gap right here on this side. So we want to actually tighten that down evenly among both sides. And you don't, you really don't have to tighten this down extremely tight. So it sits on the belt pretty snug, but make sure your belt is lined up perfectly, which that little guide in the stainless steel part will certainly assist and helping you do that. So go ahead and tighten that down. Just like so. So now you've got that part in there. And like I said, it doesn't matter where you put it along the belt. So obviously it's going to index as well with either end. So next we're going to go ahead and clip this on. Like so. And this is actually going to come along the bottom of this. And actually you can take that off if need be as well. So next we're going to go ahead and take our 770 hidden socket head adapter. Put that, put that down real quick while I put these screws in. I'm going to put 
four of our longer screws into this part here. And now we're going to slide that through just like that. So that's what your assembly should look like so far. Next, we're going to slide that just like so. Just like that. And these are going to screw right down into that stainless steel plate. Just like this. Tighten these down. Make sure that's nice and tight. Go through and check each one of them here. There you go. Now your mechanism is actually attached to your belt. Now we can go ahead and clip this on, just like that. Now we can go ahead and begin tightening up the belt on this end. We can actually maneuver this all the way down to the end if we wanted to. Now we can go ahead and tighten this up. Like I said before, you don't, you don't really need this belt extremely tight because this, uh, the belt uh, is, is, has really no play in it whatsoever, so your peach really shouldn't even jiggle back and forth. But, but like I said, you can tighten it up to whatever, whatever you feel is comfortable, um, but it really doesn't need to be all that tight. So, and now you'll, depending on the gearing on your motor, um, you should be able to physically move this thing back and forth. Just like so. And there you go. Your slider is basically complete. Um, now you've got various things you can attach to. Um, on your mount, you can come in and mount channel on the side and go ahead and mount different components uh, to the top plate here. Neat thing about having the 770 adapter on the top, now any of our one inch bore clamping mounts will clamp right around here. So let's say you have mount a camera on here, you can actually index the camera very, very easily and that will be shown in a next video.